fellow vapers, Vaporella here. I'm here today to review the Stingray X. It is the clone, it's the Style C. And this is what she looks like. That's the Stingray logo there. They've changed the logo, but I really like it. It looks pretty cool. I love that this is the inside. Where did I put the other piece? <laughs> this is the extension piece and as you can see the inside is completely solid copper and the outside body is it's wrapped in stainless steel so that's a pretty cool look I love how with the engraving you can see the copper standing out against the stainless and in the threading and there's just hints of copper here and there within the stainless um, it can house 18350, 18490, and 18650 batteries. I currently have the 18350 in, and you can see it's very tiny. It's like palm sized in 350 mode. I love the size, love, love, love the size. It's shorter than the previous models, and even when you do have it in 18650 mode with the um, other piece on, it's still not that much bigger. It's still pretty small and still palmable actually. The silver plated copper battery contacts are adjustable in this. It also came with a hybrid dripper adapter that you can put in the top if you want to put a hybrid dripper on top of it. It came with the adapter and it also came with this drip tip that has like a little bit of copper banding around the bottom half of it which is really nice. It's got a very wide mouth. I like that. And the copper accent just kind of ties it all together, especially if you have a stainless or chrome or whatever topper on it that makes it match. I really like that look. I had issues with it initially when I did my first review. That's why I'm redoing this. Because I'm a dummy and I did not think it had a reverse lock thread on it, but as you see it does. Mine was stuck. I could not get mine to turn and since it's almost seamless. I couldn't tell that there was one there. So in my first review, I said that it did not have the reverse locking thread, but as you see, it does, and you can reverse lock the threading so that when you put it down, it's not gonna fire. It does fire nicely. My, again, my firing button was sticking, and I had an issue with that. It would catch, and I don't know what the problem was, but I took everything apart, cleaned it, put it back together and now everything's working very nicely I must I must say I'm really digging this one it has on the bottom of the firing button if you can see there it has a little logo stamped in the bottom there also in the copper with the stainless steel around it I think that looks sweet too the whole mod itself is really to me very very nice looking it's good for a male it's good for a female because to me it's pretty enough if you want to call it that it's just a very very nice looking mod inside the top here it's a 510 connection and if I can get this off it's a 510 connection and as you can see there it's got the um, kind of raised spots here that are also made of copper but my only issue with that is depending on the topper that you have on it if you don't have a dripper on it I actually do use uh, my mini VV Novas on it I've used regular VV Novas on it also and it does not allow enough air supply because they're not raised enough to allow enough air to get through around the sides so with that it it does cause a gurgle and it doesn't work too well but I have used it it does work better with a dripper on top though because you get have the air hole on the dripper itself otherwise I have no issue with this I really really like the way it looks it's really pretty it's a nice size it's it's got a nice feel in your hand and like I said the buttons now that I cleaned everything <clears throat> it fires really nice and it's just a really nice piece It's nice every time now. I like it. Bye.